expensive as in uh, monetary or expensive as in uh, for them what what they pay for. Because I did put I, I I usually I usually if I don't like the tattoo, not saying personally like the style of it, but if it go against my ethics and my morals, somebody want to come in and I mean if, if you do you do you, but I can refuse not to do it. Like if you want to come in and get it. Bible on your arm or something like that. I ain't, that's not my twist. Right. You know what I'm saying? Personally, different strokes with different folks. Like, you know what I'm saying? But that's not my. But monetarily, I don't know. I did a, I did a, uh, I did a sixty-five hundred dollar uh, uh, back piece, a full back piece with uh, Buddha on there for this guy. He, you know, in the army. So. Um, that was an expensive piece. I'm sure you got some of these images. Could you send us a few images? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, definitely, good. Definitely. I got a whole digital portfolio. I'm on all social media. And, uh, yeah, my work is displayed. You're doing music as well? Yeah, yeah. I started, that's my foundation. I started off as a uh, as an artist. Uh, and I uh, made a little splash in the city and got my little uh, notoriety from that. Which uh, transcended, uh, trans um, ended into uh, me uh, doing a tattoo thing. Like I started getting bored with the music a little bit. It was like I gotta do something extra on, on the side. Cause I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a true artist. Like not saying that, uh, my art should be different than anybody else, but I'm a true artist. Like, I'm an all around artist. I do several different mediums of art. I don't just do tattoos. I do sculptures. I oil paint. I rap. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm a real, I'm an artist, artist. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, just doing music, especially in a city like Philly, where it was predominantly, the music scene was a beef orientated thing. And what, and what, I, what we stated in the beginning, like, I'm a real street dude, so I never really got into the beef thing. So, where does that leave me? Because I'm not going to be back and forth on no beef. I'm not going to be battling and doing all that. They disrespectful now in days like Mayor Miley just said. You got a few bars for us today? Um, get that. I mean, sure. But I told him, um, I said, my stratosphere is over there. I'm in another zone. Chronic residue clinging to my chromosome. I'm in your hair like your beard when you hold the phone. Godfathers full of gank, smoking coley homes. Plucking ash in a the tray, they get their bogey on. Peen alive, I'm on a cast like a broken bone. You ain't know I'm known, I could do a show in Rome. Time travel them time zones before you know I'm gone. Niggas half nice talking about they Hollywood. <laughs> For half price, I could slip their mommy wood. I probably wouldn't, even if I probably could. Cause I'm just trying to stay alive. Knock on wood. Chop a wood, get the chopping like I'm chopping wood. Out your car, let it knock you on top of the hood. I watch them with binoculars, is my optical good. And there's no amount of blocking on obstacles could. Diabolically, I'm probably the realest to do it. If 80 chicks gave you brain, you still would be stupid. I ain't lying to the fans. I'm truly the truest. I mastered the artifacts like Peruvian ruins. In the game, see, I bang with the truest of truest. Then I bought them Animo. Now she do what she doing. My coupe is the newest. Shine like my jeweler is Jewish. Bomb full of beautiful bud. Helps us make beautiful music. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> is that it? My, 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 my wordplay. See, I don't like really getting into breaking down what I do because I like it organically and I like the fans to say that like yo score you creative but deep down inside of me I know I'm a creative dude I know I try to take it to another level with my wordplay I know I try to give them something different than the norm we got, we got mixtape 12 at least you saw mixtape 12 coming out can, can the audience look forward to uh, a track being on there from oh, yeah, yourself the Philly Streets Talks like you know what I'm saying fam so at the end of the day, ain't nothing but a phone call. I jump on, on, on whatever y'all need me to do. Matter of <laughs> fact, I'm a, I, I am going to make it down to one of your live 
shows at y'all show. Like, you know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Y'all the homies. For real. Okay, I want to ask you, you said you mentioned the little, um, the, the Peanut Live. A lot of people don't know or haven't heard of Peanut Live. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to, to my homie, my, my, my bro, Peanut Live. Um, Peanut Live is a, uh, uh, it started off as a, a, a YouTube show. It really took off. It's the biggest YouTube uh, show, independent show to ever um, come out of Philadelphia. It's based around a, a character, a, a, a puppet character that interacts with the real world um, in the hood, basically. So, like, they would have a reality show of a person and follow him with the cameras, and they follow this guy, Peanut Live. And uh, you can check it out on, on YouTube, uh, Peanut Live 215. They're really cool. What's the views looking like on that? How many views they got? Uh, I think we got like 30 million. 30 million. Uh, unbought real views, real people, real clicks, real laughs. Like, you know, <laughs> real comments. So, shout out to um, my guy, Peanut Live. They, they, they really doing anything right now. And you interact with that show? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to cast my more on the show. Um, I, I'm, I met Peanut. I met uh, the, the actual guy that does Peanut. Um, I met him, then know him from a, a can of paint. <laughs> this was on the show before the show took off like it was. He came to me and brought the idea to me. And I said, that sounds like something dope. Scorp would love to be a part of. And I do it. We did it and found out. Is, the funny thing is about it is that it's a puppet. Right, but the dude is ironic that this puppet is like realer than a lot of a lot of people I met <laughs> in, in, in the city. Actually, the guy, well, let me, the guy that does the voice per se, but and, and we ain't gonna get into it because Peanut Live is a so you've been with him. You've you been right? with him from the very beginning. Yeah, from the, from, from the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah so uh, he thought of the idea totally independently by itself and he started from nothing it's really started from the bottom like Drake say started from the bottom now he had he started from the bottom and it, it, it flourished into one of like a real dope innovative thing for the city you know what I mean that kind of now I know you can't tell us too much but um can you tell us anything about this new project this new movie you're working on this the set you're gonna be on today in fact uh, yeah 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 um, I got a little cameo in a, uh, in a Jamal Hill directed film, uh, Queen Latifah executive produced uh, Brotherly Love project that's um, happening in the city right now. Uh, Star studded cast. Uh, a lot of dope people, man. A lot of dope people. Uh, I feel blessed to be even a part of that right now. You know what I mean? Everything working out good right now. Can't really dive into the film itself, but yeah, stay tuned. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. But be most when they out 66 and view is organic as the roots. I bring it back to the truest. I'm talking essence, West Philly section. I've been a fresh prince, so of course I get their blessing. Ties to my Southwest family.